Good morning, Connecticut Backyard Gardeners. Today is Saturday, May 14th. And I just thought I would give an update. I think I did one about a month ago. Um, things are in progress. We did have about two weeks of rain, so it kind of set things back. But what you're looking at here is some uh, wheelbarrow that I pulled out that was behind my shed forever and repurposed it into a planner. I think it looks really cute. There's a loop in from Maine right in the center, which I'm really excited. I've been trying to establish those here in Connecticut for a long time because my family's from Maine, so I like to keep... Uh, brings me good memories. Here are my sugar snap peas. I just stuck those bamboos in there because it looks like they're starting to get ready to look for something to crawl on or climb up on. So that's those. Now let's see. Everything you see is so much more growing. Here is my um, bleeding hearts. Love them so much. They come back every year. You can split them. My daughter's little private secret garden sugar snap pea now onion it looks like and there's something else i don't know though what else she's got going there but she's really proud of that fountains going still on the fence on whether i want to put koi in last year uh, didn't work out too good and i don't really want to sacrifice their lives just for my uh, enjoyment so i might hold out till i know better about uh, all the ins and outs of overwintering them so here's some zinnias, my favorite. As you know, I tell you all the time, little zinnia patch and a flax. Um, I just put these headers in this morning. So those are in. I'm gonna show you the raised beds in just a second. I'm just showing you some other stuff. Here's another flax, some other things that are coming back. My little um, rhododendron that I saved. She's got two buds, I'm really proud of her. This was so sick. When I got it home, a couple, it's been a long time, a couple years. Rhubarb, she's a monster. So we'll see, and our little blueberry trees are coming. And I got two more, so I'll put those in another time. All right, I'm gonna just show you the raised beds. There they are. So what I did was I did all cold weather vegetables. Um, the ones that you can plant in April and August, if you wanna do them in the fall too. So you can see this is wildfire um, mixed lettuce. This, she's, this one's a real, real monster. Um, Swiss chard back here. She's beautiful. And these are bright lights. So one's yellow, one's red, one's yellow, one's red. It's beautiful. Spinach right through here. I did it like, in a, um, like a design in a way, like a pattern. Little lavender, she's tiny. Um, and here's another, same thing. Holding off on the tomatoes just a little bit longer. Here's some plants. I just want some annuals, some ch extra chives. <clears throat> My seeds didn't work out. These are new to me and they're beautiful. Unfortunately, they're annuals too, but they're called um, Orange Symphony. Gorgeous. They close up at night to go to sleep and then they open bright up in the morning. It's really something to see. It's pretty. I gotta just find the right spot for those. Onions are doing fantastic. Obviously, they like the cold and the rain. All my stuff here does. I don't have anything you would think of like tomatoes or peppers yet because I'm holding off for about two more weeks. Basil, these guys keep getting attacked by something, so I have to keep replanting them. I'm not sure. This bed's been invaded by a hosta that was underneath it, so it's kind of a useless bed at this point. I'm not sure. I feel bad for it. It grew all the way through the paper and everything to get up here, so I just might let it be for this year. And that, that's a package of lettuce leaves I had thrown it, or lettuce seeds. And they're just all of a sudden with the rain. I forgot all about them. They're just coming in like crazy. <laughs> little little colonies of them. <laughs> they're pretty cute. Over here, I have basically a beet farm. You can't really tell, but there is over 300 beets in here. What happened was I bought a packet, I opened it up, I didn't realize each leaf was its own beet, and I felt bad. So I got two full beds of beets. Anybody wants any, please let me know. Or the greens. I guess people use them for juicing. I don't have a juicer. Um, maybe I'm going to have to get one. I don't know. But like I tell my neighbors, I've had a lot of visitors come and see what's going on over here. I told them they find beets on their porch. Don't be alarmed. So two of my beds are full of beets. Oh boy. Anyways, and here's just a couple more of those wildfire lettuce. These ones are doing really good. They're, and they're not even in 
a lot of sun. So anyways, that's the update for now. Um, moving forward, gonna get going on the peppers, tomatoes, you know, things you generate, cucumbers, of course, squash, all that. This is still, um, like I said, it's being 14th. I'm gonna put some, the ones I'm gonna do by seed are gonna go in because I'm gonna put them in two weeks before Memorial Day. So that will probably be this weekend. And I'll give you an update again. I hope you guys are all having fun in your gardens and uh, learning. And please share any information or leave a comment. Follow my page. I don't think I have any followers yet. And um, I also have a Facebook page, Connecticut Backyard Gardening, where we try to share ideas and troubleshoot different little gardening problems. Okay, well have a beautiful weekend and I'll do an update soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye.